What's going on, everybody? And welcome to another episode of the Other Side of the Firewall podcast, where we talk about the latest and greatest of cybersecurity news, as well as we highlight those movers and shakers and glass ceiling breakers, those people of color who've made it to the other side of the proverbial firewall. My name is Ryan Williams. As always, I'm joined by LeVon Maynard. What up, what up? And Shannon, uh, unfortunately, couldn't be with us this week, but he will be here next week. He's a little under the weather. So we, we, we're we going to change it up a little bit. We're not going to talk about, uh, it's supposed to be the eighth generation of consoles. We're waiting for Shannon to come back uh, to, for his input. Um, and then Red Notice. So I was able to squeeze it in, but I know Shannon's very pumped about watching it. So we'll wait for him. Mm-hmm. And I think, uh, LeVon, you said you had in your queue, so you're going to watch that up as well. Yeah. But everything else is on the table. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Everything, everything else, else goes. On the table. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> anything else with, with that being said, uh, how was your week? Oh, it's been, it's been a pretty good week. Um, like you mentioned, I, I want to check out the, uh, the Red Notice. I put that in my queue and uh, Netflix. We actually just, just watched uh, the Hard Day Fall um, just like shortly, um, you know, maybe a few hours ago before I you know, hopped on, a, on the podcast today. Um, I enjoyed the movie. I think it was, I want to say it's like some sort of like, you know, uh, it's going to become like a cult, you know, classic or some sort of award winning, you know, show, a movie. But I, I really enjoyed it. You know, it's an all black cast and a, kind of a, a Western themed uh, movie. Um, and obviously I love, you know, I'm a big fan of Idris Elba. Um, a lot of other actors, actors and actresses that were in there. Um, was it um, uh, Jonathan Majors? Ma- Jonathan Majors, yeah. Yep. I'm trying to remember Regina his first name. King. Yeah. Regina King. Dion Cole. Yeah. Uh, oh, I can't remember uh, Old Boy's name. He's from uh, uh, Judas and the Black Messiah. And sorry to bother you. I can never remember his name. Yeah. Yeah. I know you know what I'm talking about, about though. Oh yeah. man, it's I saw, I'll, I'll look it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want, I want to give him his due. He played Cherokee. Cherokee, right? Yeah. Yeah, Cherokee yeah. Bill. Cherokee Bill. I like, I like, his, especially his character in the movie. He did a great job. He's like, I don't know, he just played that like, kind of like monotone, like everything's cool kind of guy. <laughs> right. Like, don't make Lakeith me shoot you. Yeah. Stanfield. Lakeith Stanfield. Stanfield. Okay. Yep. Yeah, he killed it. But uh, also Delroy Lindo. Like, it, the, mm. it's a huge cast. Like, right. I, I Zazzy beats like there's it's so many people in this it's, it's ridiculous I, I can't even name them all yeah bad people and had, <laughs> yeah it had a nice soundtrack too I think it has some good uh good songs in there um yeah yeah so. produced by uh Jay-Z so uh or yeah. I'm sorry yeah the, so the the movie production is produced by Jay-Z uh Rock Nation did the soundtrack I can't remember the name of the 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 sound producer but I saw him on an uh, interview talking about the soundtrack and just what it meant to him and how he, like he was like you, you hear a lot of movies soundtracks they have nothing to do with the movie anymore is in uh, all these tracks had something to do with either the scene or just the movie in general and then he went into each track i thought it was pretty good pretty good interview. yeah oh yeah you yeah. have to check that out no i thought it was a really good movie i, I enjoyed it um then what else uh you know i missed you guys you might have talked about it maybe last week or so but I watched Internals. I saw that in the theater. Yeah, um, I thought it was. I really enjoyed the movie. I think, uh, you know, reading some of the reviews earlier before I watched the movie, which I shouldn't really do it anyway. But I saw some reviews. Right. People kind of gave it like a negative uh, review, but I thought it was really good. I think what people didn't like was maybe the length of it. Potentially, it was like a lot of backstory, not as much maybe, not as many action scenes as maybe like a Shannon would like. <laughs> uh, right, but right. It's, uh, I, 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 I so I knocked it. I knocked it too. So I, I said it was a seven. But the yeah, the, yeah. Uh, the more the more I review it, like the more I go into the Easter eggs through new rock stars, and I see the stuff that I just didn't know was was a thing in the MCU. I like it more. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. I can like appreciate it because it's uh, and I can see I can understand why people would not like it as well. I, I think there's some points that were kind of like dragging a little bit, and maybe they could have like cut it down. But I think overall, you know, I gave it thumbs up. I went, you know, I gave it like a I think I'd give it like a seven. A seven seems like yeah. an appropriate score for it. Um, and it seemed like it had like a pretty, you know, high production value. It had some great, some oh, pretty yeah. good scene, good CGI and all that kind of stuff. Action scenes, other action, action sequences. Um, and then, uh, yeah, some of the little bit of the twist, I guess, towards the end of the movie that maybe yeah. didn't, didn't really see coming. Um, even though I kind of, I kind of got a little hint of it earlier, but I, I kind of expected something like that. Yeah, actually. Um, okay. I was, yeah, I was telling the wife about it uh yeah i don't want to like do any um spoilers on, the, on right. the show today but yeah just some some of the interactions i was like 
he's, he's, they seem a little sus. And I was like, <laughs> I was totally right, 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 right. Um, <laughs> but then, yeah, it kind of came to fruition. But, uh, um, but yeah, I thought it was, I thought it was a good movie. It wasn't like, uh, you know, it's not like, uh, uh, the Avengers, like, uh, like, um, I can't think of the name now, but it's not like, it's not like a, uh, the typical Marvel, uh, movie that you, you're used to seeing as far as the, the a cast of people that you're super familiar with, you know, the backstory, right, right, you know, right, you know right. Iron Man, you know, uh, you know the Hulk, you know everybody like that. So it's like people that yeah. you don't really know about, don't really know about their backstory. So they, they spend a lot of time going in the past and and trying to reintroduce you as far as like where they came from, how they came to be, who they are. Um, but I kind of appreciated a lot of that 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 side story. It kind of made me feel a little bit closer to the the characters, and um, I think that I think they did a, a good job overall. And then at the end, they have like two post scene credits, which kind of obviously. They push. They show that there's gonna be something more in the future with the with the the series, um, and then maybe a potential another character that may be popping up um, to, yeah. to be a part of the uh, I guess the universe. So I, I think I enjoyed it overall. I'm hoping I'm looking forward to seeing what what they do with it in the future. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, I definitely agree with you. So it, for me, it was just I'm tired of origin stories. But yeah. <laughs> they have to do them like because you can't just right. you can't just have characters just appear. It's right. just, it's not, it's not right. You know what I mean? Like you have to give them their, their due. But in this right. case, they had 5,000 years to cover. It's a long <laughs> yeah. time to cover. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. To get you invested in these characters. Um, well, I thought they pulled it off. It just wasn't as thrilling uh, as some of the other, like Sha- Shang-Chi, but you're only focused on one character and a couple mm-hmm. side characters. Right. Right. Um, but in this case, it's like seven of them. <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> so it's, a, it's a lot of people to cover you just like yeah eh. and then uh the twist you talk about i saw it coming but from a different character but we can't really mm. get into it so i was right. like this is gonna happen because it's, it's the way these, these movies always work out but then it was mm-hmm. a character i didn't expect and i was like oh okay yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right okay right yeah i should i should have saw that coming but uh i One thing and I, as a I'm whole sorry. i thought it was good though no go ahead i'm sorry no, I was going to say that one thing I can just a little, uh, a little shout out. I think the one character, um, I mean, I'm trying to remember his name now, but he's the, he's the one black character. He was oh, Fastos. 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 Yes. Yeah, I was Fastos. like, uh, I was like, they did him, they did him proper, like especially towards the end of the movie when he was like using all his gadgets to like start like holding yeah. down certain people and stuff like that. I was like, oh, damn, right. okay, look at Fastos uh, doing, doing the work right there, using his, his yeah, intellect yeah. and his, like, you know, yeah. ingenuity to, like. <laughs> right, right, because, because uh, yeah, because, it like, everybody else is getting on the action. You're just like, well, Fastos is just the, the smart guy. Right. And then right. you see it, he's a, he's a tactician. <laughs> right, <laughs> like, right. Yeah. Like, he, he, he used his, his brain, you know, to, uh, to do something that, that the rest of them couldn't do. So I was like, right. okay, all right. Yeah. I get a lot of. Uh, I get a lot of uh, Iron Man, uh, Shuri, um, and Banner vibes. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. uh, but obviously he is like right. He, it, I can't really explain about spoiling it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But 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 the man is smart. <laughs> right, he's a smart man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's a smart man. So I, I can see I can see him getting with those characters and like coming up with some brilliant plan in the in the far future. Like when mm-hmm. they when they start to really mix these characters up, I can see some what if type situations where you have characters um, who are never in the same movies come together to have to come up with a plan. And mm-hmm. like Fastos is going to be your man, <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Absolutely. So I'm like, yeah. okay, okay. I yeah, see where you're coming from. That. Yeah, I can totally oh, yeah. see that. So, so the implications are high. So don't don't don't, don't get me wrong. It just wasn't as exciting as. Um, because because there's so many of them and because of their uh their abilities you think it's going to be an avengers movie it's not it's an origin story mm-hmm. um but i i, I mean the budget was high mm-hmm. right <laughs> like, yeah they're definitely... going through centuries <laughs> <laughs> they, all, all the wardrobes was in there you know what i mean they're going through centuries with these characters so I, I, it was an interesting perspective yeah um, and they answered the question like where the hell were they <laughs> when mm. it was going down right right and what were y'all doing yeah oh that's what you were doing got it okay. <laughs> right so it's the truth but uh yeah i would say definitely check out for those listening check out new rock stars is a youtube channel where they do easter eggs so do eric mm. 
uh, breaks down some very obscure lore uh, when it comes to the Easter eggs in movies. Uh, and he does a really good job. He made me appreciate the movie more. It went from <clears throat> more of an eight than a seven. Still mm. is an origin story, right? Origin stories are boring. But mm-hmm. I would say in the rankings, this is definitely not quote unquote worse. Like we're doing quote quotation marks for the audio listeners. Uh, of MCU, I would say Thor The Dark World is still the worst. <laughs> <laughs> that, that movie was a solid six. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, between that one and Iron Man 3, which one was the one where uh, he was, um, oh man, was it F1 race? Wasn't it? He was in Monaco. Oh. Which one was that? Was that three or mm. was that two? I want to say two, but I could be wrong. Oh, was it two? Uh, because three had the 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 dude um, I can't remember his name, but he was like man, a lava, right? Like <laughs> lava yeah. man. It's right. right. <laughs> <laughs> so I would say that those are the three uh, least exciting MCU movies. So hey, so so sue me. Don't really sue me though. I got no money. But <laughs> yeah, yep, that was Iron Man two. Yeah, Iron Man two. So Iron Man two was just meh. Like because Iron Man one was so good. Iron Man two was okay. Iron Man three mm-hmm. was like. Eh. <laughs> maybe there'll yeah. be a four like um but uh yeah I, I would i would say it's if those are the bottom movies then this one would would uh be above those which is still good a, a seven in the mcu is still far better than most movies i'm just gonna put it yeah. out there like yeah especially after after a decade of making you care about characters to still be introducing characters a decade right. later right i think they're doing a pretty good job so it is what and- it is I missed your guys' episode, but did, did did Shannon have a chance to watch it yet, or did he? Is he even planning on going to check it out? Oh man, I can't. Like, so my memory is killing me. It's failing me. I don't think he went to see Eternals. I think he's waiting for it to come out. They're going to stream. Uh, I think. He, I don't think. Yeah, I don't. I think he's waiting for it to stream. I think we talked about that, like how Shang Shang Chi is coming to stream already, and how this yeah. one should probably hit stream in the next four to six months. Um. Which I would say is is definitely uh, a viable option, right? Like, so for me, I, I live two minutes away from a theater, and everybody, for the most part, like the um, uh, the vast majority of our population is vaccinated. So I don't have a mm-hmm. problem going to theaters. But I can see if you know you're still in a COVID situation, yeah. Uh, maybe just wait for the stream. I think everything should be streamed anyway. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not dude. I'd yeah. rather spend a, a grip in my home theater than have to to go to the theater. Uh, I I do enjoy the theater experience. Don't get me wrong, but not for every movie. So you can stream every movie, and then I'll pick and choose the ones I go to the theater to see. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, so, I'm right there with you. Uh, yeah, I'd rather invest in a new TV and some and some speakers than uh, than uh, like for a family of five. I'm, I'm spending like a, almost a, a hundred dollars a pop to go to the theater to see a movie <laughs> full of people with sticky seats, right? <laughs> sticky floors. <laughs> no, man, I just watch that at my house. I know. Um, yeah, I, I'm I'm the same way too. You know, I, I should. I mean, I like going to the theater for like certain movies when you really want to get that movie that home, uh, that movie theater experience. We have the the booming yeah. bass and all that kind of stuff, the big sound and the uh, obviously the big picture. But uh, I'm right with you. I, I enjoy sitting at home, um, enjoying it like on my I'm like on the comfort comfort of my own couch. Uh, yeah, I think I started getting bougie over the years. Like I, you know, I. I used to only go to movie theaters that had like the reclining seats so that I'd have to like, you know, actually be able to kick up my legs and actually lay down like I'd be at home. <laughs> and I, I stopped going to the theaters that were had, you know, had the standard seats. Right. That you can, like, the, really, the, yeah. The Cinebistros and the Paragons. And, right. Right. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had to go to the, the luxurious uh, theaters. But um, recently, I, you know, I, I moved out here to California, but it's, uh, the area that I'm in doesn't really have any of those theaters. I had to drive like maybe 40, 50 minutes up north to, to see, gotcha. uh, to get one of those theaters. So I've been kind of forced to to deal with the, 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 sit, the sit with the rabble, the, the peasants, yeah, the, the peasants, the commoners <laughs> seating arrangement in their theaters. So I'm, I'm down there with the, <laughs> and of course I'm just joking, but you know, I do like the reclining seats. Nonetheless, I, I like the, I like that right. experience, but, but yeah, I'm right with there with you. I, I think, if I, could, if I could get everything streaming, that'd be perfect for me. Um, I did notice, I just haven't been looking at it uh, recently, but um, No Time to Die, the James Bond movie was streaming. I was like, man, that went quick. It went quick Already? from the theater. Yeah, it went oh, from wow. the theater to streaming. You can, you, actually, you can stream it on like Amazon or something. 
you know, I think it's like 20 bucks or something like that, but you can, yeah. uh, you can stream it at home right now. So I was like, dang, that's pretty quick. And I, I think it maybe had something to do with, you know, COVID or like, um, I think it's trying to like turn movies around quicker now to streaming yeah. since, you know, while it's still, while it's still fresh in everybody's mind, they can just like, you know, put it on a streaming service and people will buy it again or people will buy it for yeah. the first time. I think that makes sense though, because you get you get the big pop at the beginning, right? So it, even if I had to, if all of these all these movies had to, had to be delayed like that, I'd be fine with it, right? So you get yeah. the big pop in the theater, you get the opening uh, release or whatever. But like a month later, these movies are not raking in the dough anymore. Yeah. So yeah. why not why not give it to me a month later than give me the DVD or Blu-ray six months later? You could because right. you can keep making money, right? Because you might get me twice. I might go mm. to get that theater experience. And you're like, I want to see it again. Yeah, yeah. Like then, that I, much. I, then I stream yeah. it. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Uh, and then you get the DVD later, you're like, I want it forever and kind of <laughs> get the Right, Blu-ray. right. <laughs> but in my case, I'll just wait until it's streaming. <laughs> that's right. I know, I know. That's what that's what they're afraid of. And I'm sure that's that's probably right. what I would do too. <laughs> it's like I'll just wait for the stream. I'm like, I got I only gotta wait two weeks. I can wait two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be me. Oh yeah. man. But yeah. So um what else was there? Uh I was gonna mention something else, but I can't think of it right now some other movie or something I, sh- I had seen um i have to look at my queue okay but, uh, um yeah yeah i know uh eternals was a was a good one and then i want to say there's something else i might have saw in the theater or it was like another big what, one what else came out like it's like no time to die yeah, um maybe it was no time the to... eternals yeah. um I heard they fall because I hardly fall actually hit theaters too. It was all a simultaneous Netflix and, and a small uh, or not small. I forget what it's called. Limited, limited release yeah. in theaters. Mm-hmm. Um, right. And then actually that one would probably be pretty cool to listen to a theater too. Like I, I do appreciate theater sound. I'm not going to lie. Right. Um, but again, in this, this uh, pandemic world, I can give it up. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I can, I can give up a little bit of sound. Uh, ultimately, man, like my goal for myself is to have a home theater that's like an actual home theater. Like, I, I don't think I've ever shared the videos with you. Like, I, I watch these YouTube yeah. channels where they actually build theaters and homes. Yeah. It's not that expensive anymore. Like, it used to be mm-hmm. crazy re- expensive, but like, they have co- companies that come out and do custom builds for yeah. still expensive. But if I'm if I'm double retired, <laughs> you know, I might have, <laughs> might have that dough to, uh, to build myself a theater. And then that would be perfect. And I would yeah. never have to leave my house again. Absolutely. <laughs> you know what I, mean? yeah. like, I was going to say, people I'd... would deliver food to my house. <laughs> <laughs> then I got movies <laughs> in my house. Why won't I leave my house? I ain't gonna yeah. Leave. Don't need to leave. Yeah. I just recently upgraded. Like, uh, I got a, uh, I got this nice sound bar with uh, like this subwoofer that's like the biggest subwoofer I've seen. It's like as big as like a, you know, okay. uh, a tower, like a computer like tower, a or mini like fridge, that. like a mini fridge. Yeah. It's like a little mini fridge. I'm like, damn, this thing's huge. And that thing, like I, it, lit- it literally shakes like the ceiling. I can hear like the, uh, in the house, I can hear like the, um, the rattle from like the exhaust or like the, uh, not exhaust, but right. the, um, uh, air conditioning system, the, um, uh, but it's like, and I, the first thing I, the w- first movie I got a chance to watch it was Dune. And I think that's the one I was trying to think of also. So okay. Dune, I had seen that um, on um, HBO Max. And uh, that thing was booming on on that sound system. Like every, right. every time the ships would take off and, you know, they open up. Yeah, the I was going to say the, the uh, Dragonfly helicopters. Yeah. Which is the yeah. coolest thing ever. Those need to yeah. exist in real life. Like, why don't we yeah. have those? That's right. Um, I can, but every time they take <laughs> off, it's probably was shaking your house. <laughs> right. Hell yeah. The things were shaking. Like, it sounded really good. And I can appreciate, like, you saying, you know, get a nice home theater, especially you get it, like, really hooked up. Cause I don't really have, like, this, you know, speakers behind me. Just kind of, it's on the front, but it has, right. like, front firing and it has some that go upwards. Like, oh, the the ceiling. At- Atmos. Yeah. The Atmos yeah. Um, speakers and, that fire upwards. Yep. Yeah. It sure is. It's an Atmos, mm-hmm. like, sound system. But you can buy like some satellite speakers to connect to it as well. It connects like wirelessly, but I haven't uh, spent the, spent the money on that. But gotcha. um, a nice home sound system is definitely makes uh, uh, in, increases and enhances the experience without a doubt versus just yeah. having it on your TV or something like that. Yeah, because uh, in my living room, um, I don't have a wall on that side because it's a great room, right? So it's, it's living room. Um, uh, kitchen and dining all combined. So I don't have that wall to uh, buffer that sound. So you lose something mm-hmm. in that, mm-hmm. in that space. 
So right. I would love to have, you know, a converted room that's uh, all walled off with, uh, you know, cable speakers all around me, get the mm-hmm. Atmos that are in the ceiling that just firing down. So I don't have yeah. to get the, the bounce. The bounce is still nice though. Like the Atmos bounce is actually, yeah. I heard it and I was like, it's like, is it raining in my house? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What is happening? Yeah. But, um, I can only imagine if it's just firing down, it's probably yeah. ama- amazing. Yeah. But yeah. that's a lot of money. We get all yeah. that stuff <laughs> right. installed right. in the house. You got people fishing wires through your uh your ceiling and your uh behind your um baseboards and whatnot. So yeah. It's, Hell yeah. It it's a future dream, right? We'll see. We'll right. see what happens. Um, I had I had a um so when I lived in uh I lived in Vegas for a little bit and um the house that we had there was actually pre-wired for that surround sound speakers. And actually okay. I went ahead and so we, we have it. It's not hooked up right now, but I have like a, I want to say, what's it? A f- five, uh, five speaker, like set up with this, you know, plus the subwoofer um, mm-hmm. that actually had it actually mounted in the ceiling. They were actually hanging okay. from the ceiling, had like three speakers in the front and like two speakers behind me overhanging and then the subwoofer. And uh, it was, it sounded amazing. I had like a, a I have a receiver as well that hooked up, hooked, that hooked them all up together, and yeah. it sounded like really good. And you get that, you get kind of get that theater experience. Uh, but it's kind of like a little bit of an older speaker system, so I don't think it has like all the the the, the Dolby Atmos and um, uh, whatever the other the other proper, yeah proper some ones. some of the uh, encoders and stuff like that. Yeah, bit, like so. What's crazy though about a a, a really good um, AV system? Right. And there's different ranges. Like there, I'm sure there's some audio files listening there, like complete snobs. Like, oh, you need separate, you need your separate uh uh preamp and amp and all that stuff. That's expensive. Yeah. So <laughs> but in a in a in a good uh all in one amp and preamp um A V uh center, they last like 10 years. I'm not I'm not mm-hmm. gonna lie. Like they they are so forward thinking. Like so you'll yeah. buy one and you'll have it forever. Like mm-hmm. because they, they put in stuff that's not even out yet, like stuff that's still yeah. insert. They'll, they'll stick in there you're mm-hmm. like all right like some new comes out you're like yeah i can use that too right uh i i had one uh for uh, just about a decade before it started to um become dated like mm-hmm. i had one before the 3d th- was a thing remember 3d was a thing yeah that yeah. was a, that was a, that was a dumb period yeah <laughs> <laughs> it tapped out right there that's when it, yeah. that's when it tapped out it's petered out right there at, at 3d so yeah yeah and i was like I'm, yeah. I'm okay with that <laughs> it's like i'm good yeah yeah that's nice though it's, it's good to have a nice sound system and uh they kind of made me like feel like dang i've been missing out on so much i've been just watching most most movies on, on my regular tv speakers and not really getting a full uh sound yeah. that i could and i can see why people you know i got like the nice tvs i've been getting like you know the 4k tvs and all this kind of stuff but uh but then you don't really think about the audio it's like, oh, you don't, right. you know, you, you upgraded your TV, but you didn't think about like upgrading your audio. Cause um, yeah, and that's, that, that's half the experience. What, what yeah. uh, they typically say, like, if you're going to spend a grip on a television then you need to do the same thing in speakers. Right. Um, uh, Cause you have movies like ready player one or mm-hmm. um, my go-to used to be uh, transformers during the, mm-hmm. the sand trap, like the first yeah. transformers when sand trap was attacking them and the, yeah. uh, the gun, gunship was circling. Oh, that mm-hmm. sounds amazing. With a yeah. good surround sound setup, yeah, like you can hear it buzzing around you, and you can hear the shells as they're coming in from the direction they're coming in from. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's ah, those days. days are gone. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? now you're trapped in a desert with no sound. <laughs> those days are gone. So, <laughs> oh, what would really make you upset, and then we can we can get off the subject. But what would really make you sad yeah. is uh, the store here sells. Uh, receivers and you're like oh man i could probably wire up the uh the house yeah they don't right. sell speakers <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> here's your receiver and uh what we're doing with this yeah good luck finding speakers <laughs> well yeah they, they have a whole aisle of receivers so when i walked in i saw the receivers i was like okay i might do something here yeah. and then you go look for the speakers and there's not one wow <laughs> not one speaker yeah i've been here for a year and then, yeah <laughs> What that's are y'all crazy. doing? Yeah, that's like know. teasing you. Like, yeah, it's like, here you go. I don't know. Dang. Yeah, that's messed up. But man, you made that point earlier though. It's like I was just now thinking about my, you know, my mom has a uh, sound system at her house, like, but like an old one. Like it's probably it's been around as long as I remember, like being as a young child, like 
scene, like, you know, playing with the the speaker or whatever, like the, yeah. she has like a sound system that has like a stack of like, you know, like a DVD player and then like, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Or like, not DVD, but you know, like a CD player and then like has some, another stack of something else, another stack of something else. And it's kind of like yeah. a little, little tower. Uh, and then she has like these big speakers on the side and, you know, maybe has like, I don't know, four speakers or something like that set up some kind of way. Right. Uh, but it's like, that thing's like super old. I think it's like a Sony, but that thing has to be made from like, you know, maybe the eighties or early nineties or something like that. Oh, uh, so it's, it's got the best components in it. Ever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's like never yeah, going to exactly. die. It's going to be around for like 20 mm-hmm. more years, you know, 30, 30, 50 more years later, it's going to still be uh pumping, pumping sound out. But yeah, you get some good, good audio equipment. That stuff like never, never fails. You have it for mm-hmm. years, but yeah, it's good to have something upgraded. I, I probably wouldn't, you know, want to be one and two, like use that to, to listen, you know, listen to some uh, uh, more recent, you know, movies. I'd probably, you know, want to want to get it upgraded. Don't have stuff from like nineteen right. eighties, like <laughs> <laughs> bumping, uh, you know, Dune or something. But right, uh, it, it still it still sounds good nonetheless. But you still want to get some of that, get some of that latest and greatest Atmos and all that kind of stuff really get the the full the full experience but yeah yeah you'd be surprised at what you're missing like you'll watch something that you've seen a long time ago and you'd be like i didn't even know that was a thing yeah uh, in there like like literally like someone someone is saying something <laughs> you know yeah, what i mean like right. and you couldn't hear that in your your uh your normal left right um channel setup like it's just yeah. it's not separated enough but like th- this person actually whispered something in the person's ear and you can hear it you're like oh yeah. that's amazing <laughs> yeah yeah that's amazing. But uh, so did you play anything? You, uh... I was gonna, yeah, I was going to mention that, like, you know, kind of spinning off of the sound system. I was able to use, use the sound system and enjoy some games. Um, and I, one, of the, one of the most recent games that I really got to appreciate the sound system on was uh, Forza Horizon 5. Okay. Where the, uh, the Xbox came out in Game Pass, like, this, you know, maybe a couple of days ago. Uh, yeah. And... Uh, that was that was phenomenal. It was like really good. Like get the especially the the first part. And I'm not sure if you played it yet, but you drop out the plane. I, I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. I only only yeah. play I only played the intro though. I played yeah, it until it. <laughs> uh, you pick your car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that's pretty much what I did. But I, I played the intro and I played a couple like little sides, little side uh, stories. But uh, it was like phenomenal. Just listening to the sound system and dropping off and hearing the car engine and the the soundtrack they put on there. It sounds like really good and everything's bumping. You hear, hear the vibrations and everything. You feel the vibrations. Um, but that game was was really fun. I, I got to play around with it. I, I, there's one part of the game where you can actually, you know, there's multiple multiple areas in the, in, the, in the game you can do this, but just drive straight until you can jump off a, a, a ramp and see how far you can go before you, you know, before okay. your car hits the ground. Um, but I was playing with that for like, you know, a good, 30, 40 minutes, just trying to see how far I can get. And I swap out my car. I get like a, uh, I forgot what car I had. It was some crazy, like fast, like, man, I, I want to say it began with an M, but I can't think Macla- of it right now. McLaren, maybe? McLaren? Yeah, maybe it was like a McLaren, but it might've been, yeah, I think it was a McLaren or something else. But uh, yeah, yeah. Just jumping off the, you know, jumping off the side of a cliff and just landing, you know, uh, at the bottom of some ravine is uh, is pretty cool, right. but that's a, like a phenomenal game. I think uh, a lot of people have given it great reviews. Um, so I played some of that. I finished off the Yakuza, like the the first one, like um, I guess the original first one of the Yakuza series. And now I'm playing okay. Yakuza Yakuza Two, and um, coming close to finishing up uh, Psychonauts Two. Um, I think I'm on the last couple worlds. Um, of that game i'm trying to wrap up uh like nowadays i have so many games in my queue i don't spend a lot of time finding like every little uh hidden you know um right hidden piece of hidden item i just go through it and try to like play you know the main story elements so i can kind of get the gist of the game and uh, just enjoy the the story but uh i've been kind of like pushing through that and uh yeah and i started the uh, second yakuza game just the, like the intro part and I uh, like the, I'm still in like the first chapter so I'm gonna try to work through that one as well but got so many games I'm, I'm queued up that I, I try to get through them all so I just try to try to uh a marathon my way through them and just kind of skip all the, the unnecessary stuff 
but right. it's kind of good and bad. You know, it's, it's, it's good sometimes when you sit down and really appreciate a game, but nowadays there's so many games I want to play. I just want to like get through them and uh, get to the next one. Um, but how about you? Have you been uh, gaming months much in the uh, last couple of days, last week? Yeah, yeah, so definitely. So uh, I've been playing San Andreas. Um, GTA mm-hmm. San Andreas came out on Game Pass. Yeah, the, the remaster is getting knocked like the whole trilogy is being knocked by people saying it's, it's ugly it's not pretty yeah. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's it's about what i remember it looking like um so they did a good job in that respect because like you watch the side by sides and it it's not a, it didn't age very well it's just none of those games did people's hands are like stuck together <laughs> they, don't, they don't have f- individual fingers and stuff like the that. chris rock but it, yeah but it's 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 like a 360 game, right? Or did was it earlier than that? San Andreas mm-hmm. came out for PS2, so PS2 mm-hmm. slash um, whatever whatever equivalent. Um, and they did a good enough job, and I didn't play it originally, so I, I remember buying it, but I remember not finishing it for whatever reason. And now I'm playing it again, and I don't remember anything. None of the story mm-hmm. beats, none of the characters. It's like I never played it before um, for whatever reason, and I'm enjoying it. So I've been going through the uh, the missions. Um, doing some of the side stuff because uh, I want to get the full experience and whatnot, but it's it's definitely going to be the game I play until Halo drops. Mm, um, right. I did play Forza. Forza looks amazing. I'm playing all these games. I'm playing on the Series S, so um, they're not they're not going to look as good as um, you know playing on a, a an X or a PC or whatever. Um, but they look good enough. Like Forza mm-hmm. still looked amazing to me. So I can only imagine yeah. what it looks like with a, the proper television and, and running on a, a Series X or a PC. Um, I do yeah. kind of want to upgrade my TV now because um, mm-hmm. I was like, even even San Andreas would look better with a better television, mm-hmm. right? Because they, they have like um, they, a revamped lighting system, all that stuff. But it's, it's definitely playable. Um, and it's still fun. Like it's not as sprawling right. as a GTA V. Like you'll forget that like going into it and it'll be driving down the street and you'd be like, it's empty. Like this was a <laughs> lot back then. Right. You know I mean, like this, right. these streets were packed back in the day, but now technology mm-hmm. and all that. So it's not GTA five. Right. Um, right. But it, it controls like GTA five, the, uh, the cars control really well. Um, you have the GTA five will was for switching weapons. Mm-hmm. Um, the lock system is pretty good and you can roll. And I can't remember if you could roll before. I assume mm. they didn't build. I'm, I'm assuming they didn't build this into the game. I, it was already there, but like mm. you can roll left and right, so you can run, roll in and out of cover. I'm like it's, it's really oh. competent. Yeah. Like, um, yeah. So I'm like, I don't know if that was added or not. I know that the will was because changing weapons used to suck. Because um, yeah. you scroll past your weapon, it's hard to get back to it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the radio commentary is still hilarious. The radio stations still have had those bangers from the time period. It's supposed to be like. <laughs> The nineties right. and, and you know LA or Compton or stuff like that. Um and the map is huge. So uh no no complaints. I'm I'm excited to play through it. Um I will probably jump back into Forts at some point. Um uh just as a, a you know break up the the monotony and what have you. Um but aside from that, just watch my weekly shows. Like I'm still watching Foundation and Invasion on Apple. Mm-hmm. Um my plan is to game this this uh this morning so while I'm, while I'm editing these videos when i play san andreas <laughs> yeah and then um this evening i'll probably watch a movie i'm thinking um i think it's called finch maybe mm-hmm. it's uh oh, apple yeah. tv it's tom hanks tom hanks oh. and a cat like a a post-apocalyptic i can't say the word but you know what i'm trying to say dystopic yeah. world um with robots and a dog come on mm-hmm. it's like it's like castaway in the future right i'm all i'm all over it. <laughs> that's what it sounds like <laughs> I'm all I over that one. So, yeah, sorry. Yeah, so ahead. so it, it dropped last week. I want to say. I knew he's been like getting great great reviews. Yeah, yeah. I knew he had a new movie come that was coming out, but I didn't know what it was called or anything like that. Finch. I have to. I have to check that out. Yeah, I think I don't it's have Apple TV. But... Starts with an F. Yeah. But see, see, make... you would, you would if you bought an iPhone, you get a year for mm. free. I'm just saying, just saying. I know the movie's not going to be good because it's on Apple TV. It's, it's probably already. <laughs> no, it's uh, looks pretty good. I, I think I can get like a. I think I may have a a free uh, uh offer free for trial. Like, free trial for that waiting for me. Uh, I think I have that saw that saw that somewhere, but I have to see. I have to check it out. I'm check out the the trailer later. Let's see what I think about it. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I you know I like anything Tom Hanks drops. Like yeah, it's going to be is. something something yeah. historical, or it's going to be something uh, off the wall. Yeah. So he's a phenomenal actor. I'm trying to think that does Tom Hanks have any bad movies that you can think of? No, they don't exist. I think they've all I mean, like got, the, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's got he got big when you're a kid. Remember big? Right. Uh, uh, he's got Castaway, mm-hmm. uh, Save Private Ryan, like. There's no bad Tom Hanks movies. Right. This, I don't think is he Turner one. and Hooch? Was Turner and Hooch? Yeah, Tom Hanks Turner and Hooch. Yeah. That's, yeah. Come on yeah. now. Like, this dude's <laughs> from, from Augury off the chain. Right. Like, He's got nothing now. but classics, nothing but hits. <laughs> all his movies are like, like, all his, all his movies are, uh, are uh, certified uh, fresh on right. <laughs> right. Right. He's got no rotten. <laughs> he would make a bad movie. So th- this one, though, is getting pretty good reviews. People are saying it's pretty good. Uh, Apple is trying to step their game up with content. So I've been watching their TV shows. Like I said, Foundation is pretty good. Um, yeah. It's sci- sci-fi. Uh, Invasion is a slow burn. It's starting to get better. Um, but these movies always, like movies with zombies and aliens always kill me. Not I, I love them, but it's how slowly people pick up on it. It's right. like, no, right. like obviously it's the alien invasion. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Like, get your stuff together. So yeah. I'm, I'm probably four episodes in, four or five episodes in. They just not figuring out like, oh, we're being contacted by aliens. Yeah. Bro, you knew that from the jump. <laughs> like <laughs> I could have figured that out. Or people yeah. will see a zombie and they were like, what is, what's wrong with him? Is he sick? Like he's, he's obviously sick. a zombie. <laughs> right. Right. Let's bring him into the, uh, the, the ship to make sure. <laughs> Check him out. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh no obviously he's a zombie <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah i didn't tell you that I, I actually got a chance to see the um that you talked about talked about like a while back but radius um with these guys like, oh yeah killing things that came it was, it was pretty yeah, uh, yeah. entertaining it was an entertaining movie it's like uh obviously it's, it's like another one of those it's like uh don't expect you know some phenomenal like masterpiece right. of a movie but it was like entertaining and the fact that it's like something different i haven't really seen anything like that before um, one thing I'll say is like very like, um, um, was it, I was gonna say not surprising, but I can predict a lot of things that were gonna happen in the movie. It's yeah. pretty like you know not nothing like the, the ending though. You you got that one? I, I kind of saw I saw that coming. What? <laughs> I oh, guess man, they like I as it's happening. I was like I bet you, <laughs> I bet this is gonna happen because uh, you know obviously the, the thing he the thing that he was doing can it last forever? Because there's no way that unless they found like some sort of like magical way to prevent that from happening ever again i was like right they're gonna have to you know take care of that and then yeah well the no, so not not, not the not the ending ending but his oh. like i don't want to give anything away everybody watches yeah. it but that twist in the cabin did mm-hmm. you did you peep that before it happened um i'm trying to think about which twist because talking about the group when, when, she, that, when, when she's when she's combing through the um uh, oh yeah the, yeah the wood fire oven yeah. or whatever did you, you yeah picked up on that before i happened? picked up on that i was like i what? knew that <laughs> there was something shady about you know i, I had no shit about man. his background and uh, i had no clue i i knew i figured that out like i had it in the movie i was like i bet you he because they obviously they, the whole big thing was like oh, why did we end up like this i don't remember you know why we were right. driving and all this kind of stuff they're trying to figure that out i was like there's obviously got to be something to that. It's not going to be like they're going to brush over it and like, oh, oh, I'll just go into the grocery store and then also, right. like, you know, <laughs> right, right. But he was a, uh, you know, that one got me. Like you should, you should be a detective because you are Columbo. Yeah, I, yeah. I did, I, not, I did a little Columbo. I did not one. peep that one. I did not peep that. One. <laughs> I should be Columbo on that one because I, I did actually. I saw that one coming and I saw you know how they're going to wrap it up. I was like, but it was it was still entertaining. I, I thought just the whole kind of premise was different. I'd never seen a movie like that. Um, yeah. So for those who were tuning in um, and did, didn't see the last one, so Radius, uh, without giving yeah. anything away, came out two years ago, either two or three years ago. Yeah. It's an indie flick that is on Amazon Prime. Very small cast, um, indie indie budget, but they do a phenomenal job with it. But basically, a guy wakes up, um, doesn't remember who he is. He's walking around and he, as he stumbles across people and animals, they are dead. And he's trying to figure out like what is going on. And then it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Right. Yeah, but again, it's, it's one of those situations where people are seeing stuff happening, just like I don't understand. Yeah, I'm like yo, if you don't get away from me, right? <laughs> start running. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. If you don't get it, yeah. And I, I thought it was funny how you know 
Yeah, yeah. Just like you said, it's just funny how people were trying to interact with him. He's like, hey, stay, you know, stay with me. I don't want you to come in my radius. Um, yeah. As soon as somebody says to me in real life, if anybody ever said, hey, back away from me, I'm like, you right. Say less. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Say I do less. not need to be close to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Especially the uh after the pandemic. Like, oh, you right. right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Yeah, it's a fun it's a, movie. It's, it's, a, it's a good watch. Yeah, something you can watch when you're just like, you know, hey, you just need something to entertain yourself or like something you can put on. You don't have to like be 100% focused on it to uh, yeah. like understand what's going on. It's not like a deep thinking movie where you got to like, you know, break down everything like, a, I don't know, some strategic like puzzler type movie, but right. uh, it's, it's entertaining. It's, it's kind of fun to watch. Um, I like I like those kind of indie movies. I like the I like thrillers in general. I like ones who kind of like trying to figure out what's going on and and people are like potentially like dying or like trying to run away from something, like trying to escape a situation. Yeah. Um, and they're like you know to figure out how to you know how to get past whatever is going on. But I, I thought it's kind of one of those movies up my alley. That kind of a genre uh, that I that I enjoy. But um, yeah, yeah. I figured I'd mention that because I, I know you'd, you'd recommend it to to Shannon and I. Um, yeah. the, other, the other week yeah he, he actually liked it so i actually got a good one in there oh him. oh yeah yeah nice yeah, yeah that's, that's a surprise Tell me he hates my movies so. yeah <laughs> i was gonna say dang that's a i didn't i didn't i didn't expect that out of shane i thought he'd be like oh there's not enough action in there none of uh murders or something i don't know yeah <laughs> uh, uh, uh it, like we can move from it, but the funny thing is, it reminded me of the Bone Thugs and Harmony uh, video. Oh right, right. Yeah, when he just touches the forehead, like yeah, he touches the forehead. My man dies, Uncle Charles. <laughs> yeah, Uncle Charles. Yeah, that was that was my man. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he's doing in this movie. Yeah, but uh, no, I, I, yeah, I'm I'm glad you watched that. Uh, there's another one, so I, I don't think you're on for um, uh, when I mentioned it, Vivarium. You might like it. Uh, Shannon would hate it though. Uh, mm. It's a, a Jesse Eisenberg movie. Um, it's also on Prime, and uh, without giving anything away, uh, a couple um, is looking for a house. They get the creepiest real estate agent of all time, drops them off mm. in, a, in the neighborhood, and then they yeah. are stuck there. And it is a thriller slash sci fi. Um, uh, I don't even know what genre to put it in, but. I think yeah. you'll like it. Yeah. I'll put that in the, I'll try to add that to the queue. I like the, those kind of movies. Yeah. But uh, some, I, I thought it was good. Uh, yeah, yeah. I thought it was good. Um, and it, it mirrors a lot of what's happening because it's, it's a, um, uh, Irish, uh, director, um, main protagonist and, um, maybe cast. I don't know. Cause they don't, like, they don't stick with the cast very long. Like it's, it's one of those movies that, it goes from being uh, out in the population to being shrunk down to just who needs to be in the scenes type situation. Mm-hmm. So at one point, there's no more than three characters on the screen, um, but it's really yeah. good. Uh, and it, it mirrors a lot of what's going on in the States with the housing crisis and suburbia and just um, the uh, what's another. Um, there's a lot of themes like uh, your mm-hmm. influence on children and in the, in the, in the, the influence of the world on your child. Um, Mm-hmm. like there's a, a lot going on in this movie but it's not direct uh it re- directly said there's a lot of metaphors as you as you watch it um right but i, I really enjoyed it it's a I, I would call it a suspense thriller with some sci-fi elements in it oh nice nice yeah i'll check that one out for sure um and one that i'm going to mention to you as well i'm not sure if you've already seen it but i, I did watch ode which is like a, um oh i so i want to see it uh yeah. i've not seen I, it yet is it was it good i i enjoyed it i know it didn't really get that great of reviews uh it's got like a 50 percent on rotten tomatoes but um okay but i enjoyed it it's like i mean it's again not one of those movies you're gonna be like you're gonna like uh scream from the mountaintop like everybody watch this movie now please you know <laughs> you're gonna you, you're gonna be missing out if you don't see it but it was just like a kind of entertaining it's a thriller type movie trying to figure out what's going on and pretty much the gist of it is that people are on this this island all of a sudden they're, they're starting to age at a, a high rate or like a fast rate. Yeah. And um, they, they don't know what's going on. They're trying to figure it out. And um, they kind of, towards the end, they start figuring out what's going on. They kind of solve okay. the mystery a little bit. 
and uh you know they try to have to they're trying to figure out how to get out you know get off this island and some some chaos ensues while they're trying to figure this out and people start acting crazy people going crazy people start to you know do some crazy stuff but okay uh, it's kind of like and obviously some people are getting some some people potentially die some people potentially live you know that kind of thing yeah uh, but uh I thought it was pretty entertaining. I didn't like, um, I'm not sure if I'd pay money to go to a theater to see it, but like, uh, it was fun to watch at home and just, yeah. Uh, so I, I really enjoyed the director's movies though. Like I'm yeah. a big fan of, uh, six cents and signs. Right. Um, what's that? What else do they do? Uh, not so much the village. Uh, cause I, I, I peeped that one from, from the jump. As soon as it started, I was like, oh, I think this is happening. This is ruined the whole movie for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I thought yeah, too I far ahead. Yeah. Um, Lady in the Water. Um, Glass. uh, he, he, what was, what, uh, was it? what was, what was the one with the, um, the grandparents? That one was good too. Mm. Where they went, they went to go visit the grandparents. I'm not seen that one. Sure oh, you never seen that one? Oh, that's a good one. Uh, oh man, I forget what it's called though, but. Um, that one was pretty good. That one is uh, more horror themed because it's just not, it's not right from the jump. And you just, cause you know, it's not right from the jump too. So you're learning as the kids are learning, but you know, a little bit more than the kids. You're like, yo, get out of there. Right. Oh, <laughs> this damn. is not right. It's called um, the visit. The visit. Yeah. The visit. Yeah. Uh, the, the only one I didn't enjoy his, which I, I, well, I said the village. So the village, I because I, I peeped it from the jump. Um, right. It was um, the the trees. What was it called? The one where the trees are, are killing people. I'm sorry, I spoiled oh. it already. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's pretty much. I mean, that's it's an old movie. That's that's spoiled. Yeah. Spoiler. The, the movie came out know. when I was in Alaska. I was in Alaska when that movie dropped. I bought it on Blu-ray. Yeah. I was so mad because Blu-rays cost like thirty dollars at the time yeah it's like what is this nonsense yeah the happening yeah the happening there it is yeah people jumping off the trees. The buildings. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right that was pretty crazy though it's like uh people like you know getting infected by trees and then they just like kill yeah. themselves people just like jump off of buildings and stuff like that and then yeah. they're trying to figure out what's going on just don't don't go outside don't go outside like it has so it has so much uh uh it could have done you know what i mean like old girl took the uh the the sewing needle and she off to so yeah. like oh right like uh, oh <laughs> buddy started remember uh old buddy started the lawnmower and ran himself over. <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh my god people are going like extra to the extremes or like <laughs> violently <laughs> like it doesn't take all that to you know <laughs> i know right like you you picked the most the, the hardest way to go out but uh right. i don't know like the movie just <laughs> yeah it's for me <laughs> yeah that one was kind of crazy i i uh it's been a long time since I've seen that one. It came out in 2008. Yeah, so he has some misses, but for the most part, I like his movies. Like um, uh, M. Yeah. Night Shyamalan, because he did, um, yeah, like I said, he did uh, Sixth Sense, he did Signs. So those are two of his, his bangers. Yeah. Yeah, it's, and there's uh, Split. I think that was a more recent one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Split with the- So yeah, because uh, he, he did- um, what was the first one of Mr. Glass? What was the original with um, Bruce Willis and Mr. Glass? Un- Unbreakable? Was that the well, Unbreakable? Unbreakable was yeah. The yeah. And then he had Glass yeah. and or like Split and then Glass. I think he kind yeah. of it out. Yeah. Yeah. Cause uh because I, I went into split without expectations. Like I didn't know. And then the last credit scene, you're like, oh, it's a whole universe. Yeah. Right. <laughs> it's like right. the MCU. <laughs> yeah, I know he did like a little mini MCU, <laughs> which is pretty fun. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Yeah. Like I kind of pull that all together. Yeah. So I, I think, I think these movies are worth it. So I definitely watch old. Is it still cost money? Like do I have to rent it? Uh, yeah, I think it's still on the, um, let me see. Uh, Cause you can, you can watch it on Amazon, but you have to rent it for five ninety nine. Okay. Um, but um, I, I may, I may, because uh, yeah. I ain't got much going on today. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I ain't got what's going on. Yeah. So just, just so I can check it out. But yeah, um, it, 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 I think it might be worth five ninety nine. It's not that bad. Gotcha. But uh, I gotta check out. I gotta check out the visit because I see that one's that one's. Awesome. I thought it was good. That yeah. that was like his. That was his bounce back. 
because uh, at, at some point before he made, um, I think that one dropped before he made Glass, or it could have been before he made Split. But I remember he was he was in between jobs, <laughs> and he dropped that yeah. one, and no one knew no one knew he dropped it. Like nobody knew it came from him. They're like, "This is a good movie." And they say, "Well, what? Yeah. Like, oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> right, right, yeah." Yeah, so that was yeah. his return to form, and I was—I thought it was pretty good. Like, there's there's some scenes where you like you be like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> not not that they're gory, but it's just like children in danger. You just feel right. like some kind of way about it. Like, I want to protect them. <laughs> right, right. Get out of the kids. Come on. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of the room. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah. I like I like some of his movies. Like, uh, I think, uh, yeah, I think I think you enjoy old and. um uh yeah i think he's, he's got some he's got some some good, good ones he's got a few bad ones too but i think m night m night Shyamalan is a is a is a pretty good director he's got some good uh um good features but yeah yeah, yeah so yeah, definitely. that's one i recommend I did, I did see uh uh what was it Free no, free guy was what's the one? I mean, I can't think of the name now. Free guy, oh, yeah, the, free guy. Ryan Reynolds, free guy. Ryan yeah. Reynolds, yeah, I saw that one yeah. too. I thought this, this was pretty good. It seemed it's kind of typical to me. Like it, it seemed very like Ready Player One. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. like the same kind of had that same vibe. Yeah, vibe. Yeah, yeah, same kind of like uh, augmented reality type. You know, looking through a you know a virtual. I guess that this was more like this is more augmented. That Ready Player One was more like one hundred percent virtual. Like you're in this world, but um uh it's kind of the same vibe but it was it was it's was pretty cool it's kind of fun movie to watch i can definitely see that you know watching that with some kids too or like if you had like a family and you bring some kids out to watch it i think yeah. they would really enjoy it especially had some of the video game references and all that kind of stuff that i think uh you know kids this generation would appreciate right yeah the roblox and the fortnite yeah no right other stuff yeah exactly <laughs> but but yeah, he's always it's always good. Um, uh, Ryan Reynolds is always good in the movie because um, it he it, it breaks the fourth wall and everything he's in. <laughs> right, right. To to include Red, Red Notice, so you watch Red Notice, it's a few of those moments as well. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, but I can't remember the comedian's name, but the comedian in it was also uh, yeah. uh, pretty funny. He was also on Get Out, so as that guy, mm-hmm. what, whatever his name is, uh, I thought he did yeah. a good job, and that, that's a pretty big movie for him to jump into, right? Like he's he's been in a lot of good movies. But for him to be in that one, because that's like mainstream, right? You mm-hmm. got Ryan Reynolds on the title. Everybody's going to go watch it. Right. Uh, so he's about to definitely blow up. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I know exactly who you're talking about. He's a he's a good actor. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I think, it's a, I think it's a pretty good flick. I definitely would uh, would, uh recommend that to anybody who wants to see Ryan. Ryan Reynolds like he's almost like plays the same character in every movie too he's like a little bit of like he just plays himself he's, <laughs> he's plays himself. that's that's he's, just him he's right? yeah he's he's Will Smith uh Denzel like these are just people who play themselves in different, right. different uh situations like, what if right. Denzel's a cop yeah <laughs> what, that's right what if, what if Will Smith's a cowboy you know what I mean like it's just, exactly <laughs> you, you go in there to see the person um, right they don't have yeah, to put on any good. kind of accent or anything. It's like <laughs> their regular voice and just the normal mannerism. Yep. But so yeah, definitely, enjoyable. definitely worth a watch. But yeah, I think that wraps it up for the, for this episode, man. I appreciate you uh, this week. So we we uh, we tag team it. So for all those who are still listening, um, definitely hit up all the episodes. Monday we talk about something going on with the FBI currently um, with them being hacked DHS and FBI. Uh, Tuesday we go a little bit more into uh, the U.S. Um, hammering um, Revo gang um, hackers and putting them behind bars, getting money back. Uh, Wednesday we have a, a very good discussion with uh, Ms. Aisha Hollins where we discuss uh, women in cybersecurity and how they're not unicorns; they do exist. Uh, I thought that was a very good discussion. Uh, Thursday on Ask SSP, I should have a uh, special guest on that one as well. Uh, so definitely tune into that one. And then Friday is today. So you watched it. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Continue to like, share, subscribe, uh, all that good stuff. I did not say it all week. So that's my fault. Um, but definitely uh, continue to jump on all of our content. We, we push out there daily to you. So let us know what you like, what you don't like. Uh, and then suggestions for who you want to be on the show. So I take those as well. 
Um, hit up the website. It's www.theothersideofthefirewall.com. You can hit us up at all our social medias from there. You can hit me up personally. I am at RyRy Security Guy. That's R-Y-R-Y Security Guy. You can hit me up on Twitter, TikTok, LinkedIn, and Clubhouse. And you, LeVon? Sir, you can hit me up on the Twitters at LeVon Maynard. There it is. Stay safe. Stay secure. Take care. Thank you.